Hi, welcome to today's vinyasa flow. For today's practice, we're gonna be working with two blocks or shoe boxes, thick, sturdy books, work just fine. And we're going to start in a hero's pose. So bringing knees to the mat, you might sit right on your heels just like this, or you can bring one of the blocks between your heels at a height that feels good for you. Giving yourself a moment or two here to settle in. Slight squeeze of the shoulder blades. Heart is over your hips, head over the heart. On an inhale, draw your hands to heart center. Exhale here. Inhale, open your arms, heart pulls forward. Exhale, palms press together, tuck your chin to your chest. Inhale, open. Exhale, palms press. Continue here a few more rounds at your pace of breath, warming up the spine here. You might not have a huge range of motion from hero's pose, so pausing when your body tells you to, not forcing anything. Next round, return to a neutral spine. Hands can come to the lap and then bring them behind your back. Interlacing your fingers, press your knuckles towards the floor, heart towards the sky. Breathe in, breathe out. Release the grip and make your way to a tabletop position, shifting that block out from under you if you were using it. You can do some hip shifts side to side. If you'd like a traditional cat cow here, you're more than welcome to. Just a moment or two for some movement, however it feels good. On an inhale, extend your right leg long behind you. Exhale, step it between your hands, low lunge. Arms come up to frame the face. Really structural over that standing knee. Next breath, bring your hands to the mat. Blocks to either side of that foot. Tuck your toes. Shift your hips back for half splits. Taking the blocks here to height that feels stable and supportive, but allows you to have a long spine. Slightly different pulses here. On an inhale, point your toe forward. Maybe toes even touch the mat. Exhale, flex the toes up towards the face. Inhale, point your toes. Exhale to flex. Three more rounds at your pace. Again, keeping that heart lifted, nice long spine. Noticing where you feel those sensations in that low body. Pausing next time your foot is flexed. Inhale, plant the front foot, bending that front knee, arms frame the face. Exhale, hands to the mat. Step back to tabletop position. Other side, inhale, extend left leg behind you. Exhale, step it between your hands. Low lunge, start here, really pressing into that standing knee and your left foot. Next breath, hands come to the mats, bringing the blocks with you. Shift your hips back for half splits. Again, blocks here to height that feels supportive, heart pulls towards the toes. Inhale, point the toes forward. Exhale, flex the toes towards your face. Inhale to point. Exhale, flex. Three more rounds here at your pace of breath. Noticing if that left hip wants to inch forward, gently nudging it back in line with the right. Pausing next time your toes are lifted. Inhale, bend into that front knee, plant the front foot. Exhale, hands to the mat, step back to tabletop. Shifting those blocks here. From your tabletop, extend your right leg long behind you, and then left toes spin off the mat, modified side plank. So left hand plants under your face, right arm towards the sky. On an inhale, lift to gate pose. Left arm reaches overhead, side stretch through the left side of the body. Next breath, plant your left hand 
Right arm reaches overhead, side stretch through the right side of the body. Inhale to lift. Exhale, plant the left hand. One more round here, these pulses. Inhale, right arm towards the toes, left arm overhead. Next breath, left hand to the mat, right arm overhead. Cartwheel your hands back to tabletop position. Other side, extend left leg long behind you, right toes spin off the mat. Right hand plants under your face, left arm towards the sky, left toes point to the long edge of the mat. Inhale, lift to gate, left arm towards the toes, right arm overhead. Next breath, right hand to the mat, left arm overhead. Two more rounds at your pace, keeping some weight in that left foot, it's easy for that back foot to get nice and light, kind of just floating there, but keep some of your weight in that back foot. Pausing next time your right hand plants, left arms overhead. Cartwheel your hands to the mat, tabletop. Tuck your toes, walk your hands forward about a handprint, downward facing dog. You can pedal out your legs here or shift the hips side to side. Inhale, bend the knees, look forward. Exhale, step or hop to the top of the mat. Inhale, half lift, flat back. Exhale, fold, hang heavy. Inhale, Urdhva Hastasana, root through your feet, reach up tall. Exhale, hands to heart center. Inhale, reach up, you can look up. Exhale, forward fold, Uttanasana. Inhale, half lift, squeeze the shoulder blades. Exhale, plant your hands, step or hop back to plank position. Inhale and plank. Exhale, lower all the way to the mat. Untuck your toes, hands back by hips. Inhale, squeeze the back body, locus. Exhale, back to the mat. Inhale, hands under shoulders, press up to plank position. Exhale, hips up and back, down dog. Inhale, sweep right leg to the sky. Exhale, step right foot between your hands. Back foot in and out at 45 degrees. Warrior one. Inhale, straighten that front leg. Exhale, reach forward like a flying pyramid. Arms extending. Next breath, bend into your front knee. Return to warrior one. Exhale, hands to the mat. Step back to plank position. Inhale in plank. Exhale, hips up and back down dog. Inhale, sweep left leg to the sky. Exhale, warrior one, left foot between the hands, back foot in and out at 45 degrees. Arms frame the face. Press into both feet. Inhale, straighten the front leg. Exhale, hinge forward. Like you're reaching for something just beyond the mat. Then bend into your front knee, return to warrior one. Exhale, hands to the mat. Step back to plank position. Inhale and plank. Exhale, hips up and back down dog. Inhale, bend the knees, look forward. Exhale, step or hop to the top of the mat. Inhale, half lift, flat back. Exhale, fold, hang heavy. Inhale, chair, hips sink down, fingertips lift. Heels press into the mat, hips are nice and low. On your next breath, hands come back by your hips, lift the heels off the mat. Exhale, arms to the face, or arms frame the face, heels to the mat. Inhale, heels lift, arms behind. Exhale, heels lower, arms lift. Three more rounds at your pace. I've heard these called skiers or ski jumps, whatever feels right for you. One more round here. Pausing with your heels, lift, heels lowered, arms lifted. Exhale, extend the legs, hands to heart center. Breathe in, breathe out. Inhale, arms reach up, you can look up. Exhale, hinge at your hips, forward fold. Inhale, half lift, flat back. Exhale, plant your hands, step back to plank position. Inhale and plank. 
exhale lower all the way to the mat untuck the toes hands by hips inhale locust entire back body squeezes exhale back to the mat inhale press up to your plank toes or knees exhale hips up and back down dog inhale sweep right leg to the sky exhale step it between your hands Crescent, arms frame the face, toes point towards the top of the mat. Next breath, hands to heart center. Inhale, open your arms for cactus, maybe a little back bend. Exhale, palms press, round forward. Inhale, open, heart pulls forward. Exhale, palms press, chin tucks towards the chest. One more round here, inhale to open. Exhale, palms press. Inhale, arms frame the face. Exhale, hands to the mat. Step back to downward facing dog. Inhale, sweep left leg to the sky. Exhale, step it between the hands, crescent on the other side. Back heel presses away from you. Hands come to heart center. Inhale, open your arms, heart pulls forward. Exhale, palms press round the spine. Inhale, open, heart pulls forward. Exhale, palms press, tuck the chin. One more, inhale to open. Exhale, palms press. Inhale, extend your arms, reach up towards the sky. Exhale, hands to the mat. Step back to downward facing dog. Breathe in. Breathe out. Inhale, shift forward to plank position. Exhale, lower for chaturanga or the mat. Inhale for locust or up dog. Exhale, hips up and back down dog. Inhale, sweep right leg towards the sky. Exhale, step it between your hands. Back foot in and out at 45 degrees. Inhale, arms lift, warrior one. Exhale, straighten your front leg. Hands come to hips. Inhale, hinge forward, flying pyramid. Now hands can stay here or this time open your arms for airplane. Squeezing your back body. Press into both feet equally. One more cycle of breath. And then fold to pyramid. Nose points towards your knee. Hands might rest on the mat or bring the blocks under your hands if the mat feels far away. Nose points towards the knee as your upper body is heavy. One more full cycle of breath here. Inhale, bend into the front knee, back to warrior one. Exhale, hands to the mat. Step back to plank position. Inhale and plank. Exhale, hips up and back down dog. Inhale, sweep left leg to the sky. Exhale, warrior one, left foot between the hands, back foot in and out. Arms frame the face. Build your base here first. Then inhale, straighten that front leg, hands to hips. Exhale, hinge forward, flying pyramid. Hands can stay here or open to airplane arms really squeezing those triceps as part of the back body. Press into both feet equally. One more breath. And release hands to the blocks or mat. Nose points towards the knee. Upper body is soft and heavy here. Low body, strong and supportive. Two cycles of breath. On your next inhale, bend into that front knee, return to warrior one. Exhale, hands to the mat. Step back to plank position. Inhale and plank. Exhale, lower all the way to the mat. Elbows graze the ribs. Untuck your toes. Now you're welcome to take sphinx here or bow pose, bending your knees, heels pull towards the glutes. Hands come behind you for the outer edges of the feet. On your inhale, kick your hands or kick your feet into your hands. 
hips press into the floor. Full cycle of breath here. Next round of breath, kick a little harder, lift a little higher, and release. Hands come under the forehead, resting your forehead here. You can stay in stillness or bend the knees, allowing the heels to fall side to side. Few cycles of breath. Gently begin to press yourself into almost a tabletop position and then shift back into hero's pose, just like the start of practice. Be seated on your heels or the block. This is where we'll close out practice. But of course, if easy seat feels better or you'd prefer Shavasana, allow yourself to shift there. Eyes soften or close. Few rounds of breath, encouraging those inhales and exhales to lengthen. Embracing just a bit more time of quiet and stillness with your body. Now you're welcome to stay here as long as you'd like. If it's time to close out your practice, you can bring your hands to your heart, layering one over the other. Breathe in through the nose, out through the mouth. Thank you so much for sharing your practice with me today. Thank you for being part of this RAD community. And I hope the rest of your day is beautiful.